What's up, y'all? It's Spicy AF, and I'm back. And we got to talk about Kylie Jenner, who is this generation's popular girl. Kylie Jenner, listen, she's a pretty girl. She's a young woman. She is the it girl of this generation, or at least one of them. I, t I have my little defenses up with Kylie because I'm all for a woman that finds the security in herself and learns to love what God made her to be. Learn the beauty of you and don't try to become somebody else. I'm against it. You could have, you know, there's a lot of shoulda, coulda, wouldas, but Kylie got a lot of surgery. She had a lot of, made a lot of changes and adjustments to herself. And it tells me that you are just not happy with yourself. So if y'all recall back in February, Kylie Jenner was coming out saying that, you know, she had just had her little son with Travis Scott. And she was saying that she was going through, um, PP postpartum and I just want to say to my postpartum moms that postpartum has not been easy. It's not been easy. It's very hard. It's, this experience for me personally has been a little harder than with my daughter. It's not easy mentally, physically, spiritually. It's just crazy. And yeah, I didn't want to just get back to life without saying that because I think we can look on the internet and, you know, for other moms going through it right now, um, we can go on the internet and it might look a lot easier for other people and like put the pressure on us, but it hasn't been easy for me either. It's been hard and I just wanted to say that. It was very, it's very common, it's very likely, but it always triggered me and question, I question, you know, Hmm, what could have possibly happened to make her feel this way? Well, fast forward all the way to last week. <laughs> Travis Scott's alleged, his side piece that he's dealing with, another a young woman that looks like Kylie Jenner, she comes out in the media, and this is what happened. This is what she said. Okay, so what we're not going to do is we're not going to lie on me because I've been good. I posted whatever fucking story you guys wanted me to post. I pretended I didn't know you, went along with whatever fucking narrative you guys wanted to, no matter how much like bullshit I got from it, but to say you don't know me and you've never been with me, when you've definitely been with me, when fucking everybody's seen you with me, when I have pictures and videos of you with me, come on, come on sir, or like even fucking this Valentine's Day, I saw you, I ran out the door, and you had every single girl I know blowing me up, like Trav's asking for you, come back. Are we pretending that didn't happen too? Like, come on. You cheat on that bitch every single fucking night. The whole fucking city sees it. Don't do this. And I was invited to that video shoot, you guys. I would not, go, I personally do not go anywhere unless I'm invited there. So you have this woman around your age coming out. She's looking, look at her. She looks confident. She's the, the people attacking her. I don't know why. They always attack the wrong one. They're attacking her, but this young woman, if you see her, she is looking confident, baby. She looking full. She's not hungry. She not thirsty either. That means that she's being satisfied. Okay, and the only reason why someone will come out at, at a time if she has if she's dealing with Travis and she's coming out, it tells me that maybe he's not talking to her that much. He's trying to deny her and it's upsetting her. This is definitely has been happening for a long time. Absolutely. This is not the first rumor that he's been dealing with this young woman. And now she's in the media like, look, I got she's got proof that this happened. She's got pictures, videos. What else do you need? But what I don't like. It's things like this. This is what she posts. This is what Kylie represents herself. Because everything you do is a reflection on yourself. So you out here posting your family as if y'all are angels. Okay, it's Halloween, fine. But you're posting it as if you're sending the message you are a happy family. 
it's fake. Again, it's a fake thing. And this is what I don't honestly like about Kylie Jenner is the fake stuff. Stop the fake. First of all, Travis Scott, you lost my respect 100% because all them people at your concert that you ignored, that as a result, families are still mourning the loss of their loved ones. Children die because you thought it was cool for people to press up knowing the warning signs. So you think that this is impressionable, Kylie, that you taking a picture with this kind of man that does that's not mindful, always high, all, never, never sober. If, if I had a man that was never sober, I would question myself. Why can't this man be sober around me? What's wrong with me is what I would question. And what, what decent woman want a man that is not even in his right mind? At some point, I'm okay, for, for a brief moment, I understand it. Because love does it, you know, it blinds you good to, will blind you um, and all of that. But after a while, you wake up. The brain, the mind, the soul, the spirit was made to be woke. You do the math. You check the dates. It looks, it's looking to me faulty. Like I thought in the beginning, it's funny how she has postpartum. Didn't sit well with me. Now I understand why. It's because he was cheating after you had that child. But for you to be accepting that and flaunting your phony relationship, your non-wholesome relationship, your corrupted, polluted unsanitized relationship in front of this young woman what, what how much better are you than her if I was the side piece honey I would let it go I would let it go I would you out here you got so many other options I wouldn't be even worrying about that I'll be worrying about getting healed get this thing up chuck this thing about my spirit call Travis Scott and being better and not making these same choices if you're not going to make me number one you're making me number none